Hi guys, it's Stu here from Samsung Now. Samsung Now is where we look at all things Samsung, all things gaming, and all things tech, and everything in between. Today we're looking at the calibration settings that I've now been uh, working on this last week with the 1201.6 update on the KS series of TVs. Um, these will probably work quite well for a lot of the Samsung TVs uh, that have this update, but you may have to sort of tweak and change. Um, we have quite fundamentally changed a lot of the settings uh, and uh, so we'll try and go through them as quick as possible. So you may need to pause the video. I won't go through a lot of the discussion as to why I've made these changes, um, but you're more than welcome to ask me any questions. I kind of want to get this, uh, the settings out for you um, as quick as possible. So we'll go to picture we make sure we have it in movie mode to begin with and then we go to expert settings backlight and this is for standard def hd and for 4k by the way we will also be doing another calibration settings once i played with the playstation a lot more so we can do some gaming settings which i'm looking to get out next week so i'll play some playstation over the weekend and look to see what we can get with that backlight at 20 Brightness is now down to 40 because they've changed the how the LED is working and it seems an awful lot brighter. Contrast at 100. Sharpness at zero because we don't too want too much of that. I've dialed down the color a little bit, um, namely because um, it's the colors seem a bit more vivid and a bit more brighter and I tend to want to sort of tone those down a little bit and I think that's, that's along the lines of why uh, the, the LEDs of how they manage the LED lighting at the back um, has changed some of the color saturation and so on. Um, apply pitch settings to all sources. Tint at 50-50 as before. Digital clean view off. Turn some of the processing off. I still have, and this is one of the biggest changes, I've got auto motion on. And as I know, a lot of you um, know that I hate that. But I've actually turned it on mainly because um, there, there has been a little bit of blurring I've noticed and a tiny, tiny bit of blutter, <laughs> blutter, judder. Um, so I've just, just used a custom setting and it's just set at one and the judder reduction down to two, uh, LED clear motion turned off. So that's the big surprise for me is that I've actually used that. And I found that just this tiny, tiny bit is removed um, uh, the judder and, and the blurring, which we've I've seen a little bit. Smart LED, which previously um, I would have on, I've now turned off because this is being managed better by without too much processing. HDMI, UHD, color to all channels. Um, HDMI black level is, is set to auto. We can't change that. Dynamic contrast. Again, another big surprise is that I've now turned that off. Again, this is more to do with how the TV is managing the backlighting and the LED management by the TV is done a lot better. Color tone set to warm to as always. White balance will go through very quickly. Two point, um, this is, if you have my settings as before, this is still the same. Um, it's still working good for me. So um, the two point is minus seven, minus six, minus one, minus four, and minus, uh, minus, minus seven, minus six, minus eight, minus one, minus one, and minus four. That's for the two point. And then the 10 point at 10%, we've got these. At 20%, we've got this. At 30%, we've got this. 40 40%, 50%, 60%, 70%, 80%, 90% and 100%. Gamma, I've actually turned down just a little bit. And again, this is, I believe this has more to do with how the TV is managing its LEDs at the back, the lighting. And I've just dialed that down just one. Um, 
and then color space. Again, this is still the same. Um, I've not changed any of the settings as before, but for red, we have this. Green. Blue. Yellow. Cyan. Magenta. So those are our settings, guys. It's been one of the best updates I've seen uh, for a while. Um, they've managed to address a lot of the problems in terms of uh, light bleed, uh, how the backlighting is being managed overall. It seems to be an awful lot better. Judder is improved massively, but I've been able to just tweak it a little bit with these settings. Color um, with the prior settings was a bit too much, so I've dialed that down again um, simply because I think that's more to do with how the TV is now managing the backlighting and the LEDs and so on. So I think that's kind of seems a little bit too much uh, as it would. So we've now dialed that down with the brightness and um, using the color, just pushing it a little bit back. Um, the, the quality of the picture on HD is, is improved massively, um, much better than what it was with uh, the prior update. We've now turned off nearly all the processing other than Auto Motion Plus, which we have a, just a very tiny, tiny amount. Most of you could probably just turn that off and I may just do that. But overall, I think it just helps. And I think part of that is because I've been watching a lot of sport these this last week. Um, but yeah, it's it's a great update. Um, it's it's one that uh, has has made me surprisingly turn off a lot of things and and dial things down a lot. So hopefully this this helps. You'll have to forgive the fact that we've got some sort of um, blooming from the light behind. It's just that my room I'm filming this in is the sun is right behind the right in front of the house and it's streaming through the windows there's nothing i can do about it but we're not looking at images today we're just looking at the settings and if you apply these and and use them as a sort of a baseline to work from i think you'll get great results and if you have any of the other ks series of tvs uh, instead of the 8000 then i think it'll work well too you may need to adjust it a, few, a little bit if you have some of the other samsung panels you may have to adjust things a little bit more but overall as long as you've got the 1201.6 update i think these settings will be a good starting point um, any questions just let me know don't forget to subscribe um, don't forget to comment and I will see you very soon in another video. Thanks very much, guys. Appreciate your support. And um, I'll speak to you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.